Good morning, everyone. Right now on Tess Isle, it's 10.47 a.m. on Friday, December 18th, 2020. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today, but... Oh! The latest copy of my favorite magazine arrived today. I'm looking forward to reading it later. Er, oh dear. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Hey guys, T-Man28 here. Welcome to day 130 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Last time we caught some new December creatures. Today, I want to see what my island looks like with snow on it and donate the last bug to the museum. But first, let's check the mail. No new letters today, but I did get this letter a few days ago from the Faraway Museum. Esteemed T-Man 28, thank you for using the Critterpedia app. We congratulate you on completing every bug entry in the encyclopedia. To celebrate your achievement, we present you a recipe for a golden net. The Faraway Museum. And yes, so the snow fell, and I'm like obsessed with how my island looks right now. It fell about a week ago, and I finally caught the dung beetle, getting me every bug. But I still need to donate it, so we'll go do that. The golden net. I still need to catch the string fish, but I've got all the bugs. Just need the string fish for fish and a few sea creatures. Oh my gosh, I love how my villagers look with the little hats on them. You must know that everyone on this island thinks you're so interesting. Can you teach me to be less bland? Oh, I merely try to maintain a certain mystique. I'm sure I'm hardly more interesting than you, Toot. What if I was to ask you what you were up to last night? Last night? I guess I ate dinner and then I read until I fell asleep. I'm boring, Blurp. You just need to be more coy, less of an open book. Now try again. What were you up to last night? Um, that depends. What do you think I was up to? Oh no, I just sound like I'm hiding something. No worries. Your honesty is part of what everyone loves about you. Oh, I just love how my villagers... Marina's hat matches her perfectly. Let's talk. One of these is a perfect snow boy. Here's a large snowflake for an expert snow sculptor. You might think every snow person has a huge collection of these, but they're actually hard to come by. Yeah, so in the winter you can roll up these snowballs and make snowmen for snow boys, and if you make the perfect size, you get one of the frozen DIY recipes along with a large snowflake every day. You talk to them before they melt, so let's actually roll it up. It's actually really difficult to get the perfect size. One of them is like the full size, like you roll it up all the way. And then the other one is about, if you stand right next to the snowball, it goes up to about the height of your nose on your villager's face. And then in addition to this, dung beetles can come and push your snowballs, making it kind of a pain. I think that's about the full size one. So now let's roll up these two, or this one to make it bigger. And from what I've found, all the snowballs, or both snowballs you get are always close together. You can get make up to one snowman a day, or snowboy. And I really like the Frozen set. It's not probably something I would display, but I really like the aesthetic it gives off. But yeah, it's also the festive season, as they call it. And I'll show you in a little bit, but 
you can shake your certain spruce trees for ornaments to fall out and you can craft some festive DIYs that are based on Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa decorations in real life. Those festive DIYs are like the cherry blossoms and maple leaves and all those that are limited, but they last until January 6th, so about three weeks you have to get them. But look, we made a perfect snowboy! You're looking at pure snowfall perfection right here. But you know that. You made me. I'm the real deal. Thanks to you, bud. I'm perfect in every way that involves rounded snow. You know how to build a per uh, you know how to build a snow person. Even I can't play it cool here. I'm practically melting with appreciation for you and your snow skills. I think it's only appropriate that I share a DOI recipe with such a gifted snow crafter. Let's see. I know, I'll show you how to make a frozen tree. Check out your Nook phone. And take a large snowflake too, it's required to craft the item. I put your thank you gift among your belongings, now go on and craft an item that'll remind you of me. I was built cool and it's all because of you bud, thank you so much. Oh that frozen tree is really cool. Actually let's craft this golden net too while we're at it. Oh, I have DIYs. Oh, bugs don't mu bug me. That is all of the bugs. Wow. Snow Maestro. Oh, it's based on how many snow boys you build. Perfect snow boys, I guess. Because the normal snowflakes, you have to use your net to catch them anyway. The large ones you can only obtain through the snow boys. I'm using the pumpkins as placeholders. I'm going to replace them with the festive tree DIY. It's called whenever I get that. It's kind of like the cones that are all lit up. And my pockets are full. Let's go drop some stuff off so I can pick up those things. Those new creatures and artwork so we can donate it to the museum. Here's the ornaments like I was talking about. And this snow man is probably my favorite frozen DIY I've gotten so far. I just love this little snowman. It perfectly fits the season. Oh, I just love wintertime in Animal Crossing. It's just amazing. Let's make some donations. The dung beetle, the lobster, which is one of the sea creatures I caught, and then the famous painting, which is the Mona Lisa. Who, ew, and uh, hats off to you. I dare say I am the very picture of an emotional roller coaster. To wit, whilst I am pleased to announce we have completed our insect collection, I am displeased to be in the presence of so many bugs. Ugh. Tut tut, never you mind. It is my feelings of humble gratitude that win the day. Our bug collection is complete thanks to you, and our museum is a better place too. I shudder as I say this, but you have my sincerest thanks for bringing us so many insects, Team Man 28. Yeah, so let's go and take a tour of the bug exhibit with every single bug in it. And I'll be honest, I really love the bug exhibit in this game. I like the fish too and the art, but the... The fossil one's good too, but it's not my favorite. But they're all better than a new leaf. You know, if this damselfly put on a little more muscle, it could probably compete in the flyweight class. Yo, did you know to donate this bug? That's really cool of you. I just can't stop staring at it. I'm learning a ton about bug muscles in Deedaroo. Everything just looks so lush, and the lighting and everything is so perfect in this museum. To think they might expand it again for Brewster. Oh, in this room, how could I forget? And 
And then finally this little lab area with all the, I don't know, I call them more of the autumnal bugs and some of the summery ones, like the dangerous scorpion and tarantulas. Oh, I have more Nook Miles. Golden Milestone. Oh, the Golden Net. So what do I have left? The Golden Fishing Rod, Shovel, and Axe, I believe. The Shovel will probably be the hardest to get, honestly. And there is a Snowflake, so let's catch it with their Golden Net. Wow, it's a snowflake. It's like a tiny, beautiful sculpture. I also need to make and craft ornamental wreaths for all my villagers. And I have been trying really hard to get the string fish. I use so much bait, and it's only found in the Clifftop River at an evening. And it's a huge shadow, and I still can't seem to catch it. I probably use 50 things of bait at least. And this is how you get ornaments. You shake the spruce trees with lights on them and ornaments might fall out like the shred one. There's red, blue, and gold and the gold's the rarest. And these can be used to craft those ornamental DIYs. They're not too difficult to get. The ornaments. The DIYs are fairly difficult, all from balloons or villagers crafting again, but you have three weeks this time to get them instead of just only about ten days like some of the others, like the cherry blossom and maple leaves. All my villagers are home down here, let's talk to them, see who's crafting. Hi there, my fabulous bestie. Uh, uh, Chew. Oh, it's just too cold out there. Have you seen the festive tree in the plaza yet? It is totes glam. Oh, I know what the background for my next selfie is going to be. <laughs> yeah, we should actually go check out that they're slowly adding more things around resident services in the plaza. Oh, Boomer's not home anymore. Oh my gosh, I love his hat. How he has he's wearing a hat on top of a hat. Aren't mornings neat? I love snow. I do too, Boomer. Wow. Here's Flo. Cool of you to drop in. Take a load off. Okay, I forgot to vacuum. Sorry, I'm not the busybody host type. Just don't go hunting for dust piles, okay? I'm falling in love too with how my campsite looks in winter. It's amazing. I love how it looks. I also really like how the weeds look in the winter time. They look very frosty and snowy. Oh, I forgot to get this leaf pile. Oh, my pockets are full. Oh, from the new ornaments. I'll go set those down. It looks like Raymond and Stitchers are both home, so I'll have to give them gifts so we can try to get their photo. Oh, and Leaf's here. And yeah, here's the festive tree. It looks really good with all the decorations on Nook's Cranny. Or on the resident services.
Let's see what Leaf has. It's probably just Holly. Yep. Does she have any Camellia? Azalea. Yeah, I don't think I really need anything, but thanks, Leaf. And my friend is still trying to get fossils, so I have a bunch of them for him. Right here. He just needs to come and pick them up. I need to get some more iron so I can craft some iron wall lamps for Raymond. I tend to give Stitches coconuts because I think the lazy villagers like to get fruit. And here's an iron wall lamp. Let's wrap it up for Raymond. Actually, let's give Stitches the other present I already have wrapped because I believe that's a coconut. You look as chilly as a snow person. Hang out in here till you, you're warm. I heard you dug up some fossils yesterday, yep. Fitness tank. Oh well. Oh, that color's not terrible. I might put that in storage. Now let's give Raymond his. Oh, and he's crafting, too. A crest store plate. Yeah, I know how to make that. Oh, he gave me some trekking shoes. That look That's nice of him. Let's see what those look like after we give him the gift. Faux fur hat. Oh wow, I'm getting a lot of wintry items, which I really like. I'll try them all on. So the faux fur hat. Eh, don't know if I'm really a fan of that. Mm. Tracking shoes aren't bad, I just don't know if I like it with what I was wearing. Let's get my daily Nook Miles from the Nook Stop. Not like I really need an extra 300 Nook Miles a day, but it still helps. Go put some of this stuff in my storage. The festive wreath on my door, I believe Apollo gave it to me on the first day there was snow on the island, which is really nice of him. Well, let's look for the message bottle, go to Nook's Cranny and Able Sisters, and then I think we'll wrap it up for the day. Are star fragments I forgot I there was some shooting stars last night that I wish it upon while we're over here let's check in with the able sisters
sample of anything today about the snow? Nope, doesn't seem like there's any wintry, snowy dialogue right now. Oh, the gown coat's not bad. Maybe the black. Wow, Evil Sisters has a lot of good stuff today. The Santa hat and then these coats all to make multiple purchases. Sweater too. Made a really good selection today. Next cranny does not have the same selection for sure, not anything too good. Yeah, next cranny doesn't have too many good bell prices. I don't even buy turnips anymore, it's just, I just get them because if you're following me on Twitter, I if I have good prices, I'll open my gates for people to come and sell their turnips. So that's actually a perk if you want to or follow me on Twitter. Along with um, other videos, when I I tweet when I post a new video. And I got those white mum seeds because I want to fill in the rest with white mums. Oh, that got me Nick Miles. So let's look for that messy trottle and then I think I'll wrap it up for the day. Talk to Apollo. Hey there, Dumpling. Was hoping I'd see you. Wondering how much walking I've done on this island so far. Must be close to setting a record, Pa. And there's the message trottle. Here's a secret, and I secreted it. I did a DIY and got the stuff wrong, so I made this on accident. Man, I tell ya, I'm all accidents today. It's real easy. My head was stuck in my shirt and I still did the DIY. Be careful when YDI. That's a joke. Bob, AKA DIY man. Purple Hyacinth Wreath. Oh, that's a good DIY. Anyway, I think that's all. We donated the final bug to the museum and checked out how my island looks with all the snow. So, I think that wraps it up for another day in Animal Crossing New Horizons. We checked out what my island looks like with snow on it and donated the final bug to the museum. Next time I want to celebrate Toy Day in the game. So, thank you for watching and consider liking and subscribing for much more on Animal Crossing New Horizons and everything else Nintendo. See you all next time.